Hi, it's Steph, and I thought I'd share with you some things that are going on around the garden, some updates. Uh, what happened with the lawn care company killed my shrubs? We finally have a resolution. What do my containers look like that I started from seed now that it's midsummer? So here are some Black Eyed Susan vines that I started from seed. I got the seeds from Baker Creek and the variety is called Blushing Susie. And when I showed these in the video called um, Getting My Patio Ready for Summer, they were just little seedlings and they've put on so much growth in just the last month. The vines are going crazy and I really like the configuration of this trellis that they're climbing up. I got these on Amazon and I can link them below but you can make them a circle or you can make them kind of like a wall, like what I have going on here. My ferns are filling out so nicely. They have a bunch of new growth now and I can go in and cut those old fronds to freshen them up. In the video that I made at the end of May, which was titled, A Boston Fern, Buy One, Get Three Free, these were the ferns that I divided. And so the ones in the urns are also doing really great. And you can see that the bright green is all the new growth. And then down below, you can see the older fronds. So I can go in and trim those out to freshen it up. And I just love how these are filling in. I am going to try to overwinter these in my basement and treat them as a house plant so that I'll have them again next year. Here's an update on my window boxes that were mostly started from seed. I bought some mandevilla. So in the center you see I have these white mandevilla and they have lots of buds on them and they've been sporadically blooming but they're certainly picking up now. I love how they look like a sunny side up egg. The yolk and then the white. And this atomic purple gomfrina was started from seed. And look how prolific they are. They're so beautiful. I absolutely love these. They're so dainty, but at the same time, they pack such a punch. And then I also planted some alyssum towards the bottom. It's already had its first flush and it was looking a little bit ratty. So I did cut it all back. And so now it's just starting to grow out again. But all in all, I'm really happy with the way these turned out. Here's an update on the Cosmos that I planted in the taller planters. They are nice and bushy now, and they just recently started blooming because I kept pinching them. And pinching just means when you um, pinch some of the stem off of the bloom so that they will bush out and provide you with a fuller plant. So for example, if I was here, I could pinch this and then it would create a side shoot and hence giving you more plant and more blooms but it is starting to bloom and it has tons of buds and it's a really beautiful white Cosmo. I also put a verbena in each of these containers and those are starting to bloom also. So I have this one here and another there. And those limelights, oh, I love them those hydrangeas right there. I just noticed that this blue glow globe thistle that I started from seed last year is blooming for the first time. This is a really cool upright perennial. It's like this little spiky pom-pom and it's actually a pretty true blue. Closest you're gonna get to a blue in a perennial except for maybe a delphinium. So here are my front porch containers that I also started from seed. In this one here, I have some um, Asian Garden Celosia. 
and it's a really pretty pink celosia and it keeps blooming. It's been blooming for about a month now and it keeps putting out new bloom buds. So that's really great. And the pollinators love it. I have bees on here all day long. And this is my alyssum. This is a carpet of snow alyssum. And the one in my window boxes had to be sheared back already, but these haven't been cut back yet and they keep blooming and they look really nice. These cosmos here are called daydream cosmos and I'm also just now starting to get blooms on these because I kept pinching them so that the plants would be less leggy and more bushy. And so, um, yeah, a little bit behind on the bloom front for these planters here, which I was hoping that they would have been blooming already by like the first, second week of July, but that didn't always work out. So it's always an experiment in the garden. Now, what happened with the lawn care company killed my shrubs? Well, they finally sent me a check. Um, it took about 10 days and they came through. They actually gave me even a little percentage higher than what I had submitted in terms of receipts for the plant replacements and for the compost that I bought to replant them. So all in all, the experience was really frustrating and um, you know, I was really upset with it. It turned out fine in the sense that they did come through and replace them for me. It did cause me a little bit of work, but I'm just happy to have gotten the replacements. I thought it would be fun to show you how things grown from seed progress throughout the season. Sometimes they take a little longer to get going, but they do grow and end up blooming and looking beautiful with a little bit of patience. So I hope you enjoyed these updates. Thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you soon.